What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Bolt Ratty here, and uh, today I'm bringing you another tutorial. Uh, my boy, Jared Jordan, also known as Bolt Crisp, uh, wanted a tutorial, so I'm bringing you a Sony Vegas tutorial. Um, today, I'm bringing you two, two tutorials in one, we can say. Um, uh, basically, we're going to be creating a couple different variations of stuff. Uh, we're gonna be doing the wiggle transition, which everyone's been wanting to know, how, wanting to know how to do, and we're gonna do uh, color, different colors. You know, you'll just see when I show you the preview. So the first, uh, first uh, effect we're gonna do make is this right here, this transition where it wiggles like that, and the second effect we're gonna do is right here. These colors to the sound of the music. Uh, so that's basically what we're going to be creating. So what you want to go ahead and do is import. Uh, we're basically going to create the wiggle effect first. So what you want to do is import some clips. Uh, we'll import these two clips right here. We'll just uh, let those go in. Okay, what you want to do is just drag these in. And... Uh, Meet the audio. We'll mute the audio. And so basically what you're going to do is just cut wherever. I'm just going to cut wherever I want. And so what you need for this is new blue effects. Um, as I said before, I can't release it since I have a partnership through YouTube and Machinima. But um, be sure to uh, email, uh, send me a PM and I'll hook you up with that. Uh, so what you want to do is go to Transitions and go down to New Blue, Wave, and the one I use is called Ripple. It's about one, two, three, four, five, six. It's the seventh one down. What you want to do is put it right here in between these two clips. And I use, uh, I don't change my settings at all. You can change them around to fit your needs, but uh, this is basically, I just leave them the same. I don't change anything. And so when you go through, It'll do the ripple effect. Uh, I'm using a lot of RAM right now, so it doesn't show it, but it'll essentially create this uh, this effect right here, this wiggle. That's basically it. That's the easiest tutorial I've ever done. But uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and start the second part for you. Um, so we'll just go ahead and create a new project. New, no. Oops. Bad. We'll go ahead and import these two we'll, re we'll just put one clip in uh, make sure you disable resample and which one uh, we will take this audio out and we'll just go straight to the kill cam um, we'll just do this right here it's not a perfect example but whatever and then you want to go ahead and import a song or whatever you want to sync to um, we'll just go ahead and go to my editing music folder and we'll just pick an easy song um, we'll just do one bolt action called swerving if you haven't seen bolt action go ahead and check it out uh, it's possibly one of my best edits I have done but uh, I'll put a link in the description for that so what you want to do is go ahead and listen to what you want the colors to sound like so so we could just start it right here. And basically what I'm gonna do is go ahead and uh so to do that, you want to press M on the keyboard. So I'm going to push M as in Matt. Put a marker here. Put a marker here. Marker. marker. Whoops. Marker here. We're just not going to do it throughout the whole thing because uh, 
trying to save time here. So basically what you're going to do is just split these by pressing S on your keyboard. S is in snake. And just split these. And I know there's different ways people do this, but this is how I do it. I have never done this in Sony Vegas before besides bolt action wise. Because I never do the color effect. But this is a pretty nice effect to do. So what I do is I go to video effects. Color curves. And what I do is just drag and reset to none. And I go ahead and go to the red channel. And just adjust this to my liking. We'll just do that. Oh. And then uh, what you want to do is go down here to animate. And you want to drag this all the way down. And click reset to none. So what that'll do is uh, make a nice effect. And so what you should do is the same thing for this. But I'll do green this time. Uh, yeah, we'll just do that. Oops. Keep forgetting to do that. Animate. Reset to none. Drag this one on. You just want to go, you just want to do it throughout the whole thing to your liking. We'll do blue now. That's essentially all you have to do. I'm just going to do this last one real quick. And uh, we'll just do flash. I already have a preset for this. We'll just do flash. And reset to none. Basically, that's all you have to do for this. Uh, the flashes are really easy. It's just another way. Instead of if you don't like the basic white flashes, you can do this instead. Another nice little effect I like to do is the screen pump. How I do my screen pump is... Uh, I just zoom this in like this and go towards the end of where I want it to stop. Right click and hit restore. And basically what it does is it starts zoomed in. As you progress through the clip, it zooms the clip back to its restore point. And you can just do it throughout the whole thing. Uh, to say, like uh, for example, if you want the clips to all be like the same size when they zoom in or uh, zoom it, yeah, zoom in. You can go ahead and we'll just redo this one. Uh, you'll be over here and this will be like this when you first click it. You just want to do this to however you want it. You go up here and just type in what you want to save it as. We'll just type it as why, 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 why. Actually, no, we'll type it as bolt crisp. And you want to click this little uh, file drive type of thing. It says save preset. You click that and then we'll just go back, right click restore and We'll go on this clip and go down to uh, Bolt Crisp. That's the same exact size as the other one. You just want to go over and restore. Hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial. Um, I just got back home a couple hours ago, and I'm about ready to go to bed. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and uh, be sure to hit me back, hit me up on Twitter if you have any questions or send me a personal message on YouTube. Uh, also, two tutorials a week at the minimum uh, I have too much stuff to do so uh, I'm gonna be sure to release two tutorials a week for you guys I have loads of tutorials up in my mind right now uh, I have them written down so uh, those be I'll have another tutorial for you sometime maybe Friday or Saturday this week uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and please leave a like comment and favorite thanks guys